Hi friends, welcome to OAVA's weekly update where we present to you a curated selection of important news impacting the economy and our financial markets. We begin with news on global economy concerning inflation. As per news reports this week, China's June consumer inflation has declined to 0% in June 2023. This indicates demand weakness and is adding to concerns about the threat of deflation. China's Reserve Bank, the PBOC, has also acknowledged the sluggish growth and added monetary policy will be precise and forceful, thus leading to expectations that there can be more rate cuts. Last month, the PBOC had cut the key cash rate from 2.75% to 2.65% after prolonged pause. The government is also expected to take some stimulus measures. Moving on to domestic news on inflation, tomato prices are red hot in India, with prices having risen a staggering 340% year till date. From about Rs 25 rupees per kilo, the rate is now trading around 109 rupees per kg as per media reports. Excess rains and flooding in major tomato producing states like Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka has been a key driver to the price surge. The RBI is also worried. According to a paper released by a research department in RBI, there is unidirectional volatility transmission from tomato prices to those of onions and potatoes. This means that variations in tomato prices have an impact on the pricing of onions and potatoes. In fact, the CPI, that is the Consumer Price Inflation Data, released this week for June 2023, shows an uptick with inflation at 4.83% as compared to 4.25% in May, and this rise is being attributed to food inflation. Moving on to news about the domestic equity markets, the ongoing bullish sentiment and rising stock prices has also led to a record new DMAT accounts being opened. In fact, the number of active DMAT accounts has now crossed 120 million for the first time in June 2023. Apart from the Beyoncé in the secondary market, a number of new IPO launches, some of which saw frenzied bidding, was also the reason for opening of new DMAT accounts. It is expected that this trend will continue as long as the market is in a bullish mode. This week, Reliance Industries, the index heavyweight in, of the stock market announced demerger of Geo Financial Services with record date of 20th July. The move is aimed at unlocking value for Reliance Industries Limited shareholders. The new company is expected to list on the exchanges by end of August 2023, and its valuation price is being pegged between Rs 179 to Rs 189 by Jefferies and JP Morgan. Post this news, RIL shares hit a new 52-week high of Rs 2,755 and crossed Rs 18 lakh crore market capitalization. And finally, one of the biggest and well-known private equity players in India, Chris Capital, is now foraying into the space of investing in publicly listed shares meaningfully through their newly launched CAT3 AIF fund platform called Claris which is expected to exceed its target collection of Rs 1100 crore and will invest about two-thirds of the portfolio in undiscovered gems in the small cap and mid cap segment. This segment has also recently been seeing higher inflows from mutual funds and retail investors. That's it for this week. Please do click like and share the content if you found it useful. Also do visit our website www.oava.in for information on our courses. Thank you.